said it once, busted us on the roof smoking weed and told us he was the cops. Like he charged me in the homegirl house. I got an autographed pair of shades. I wanted my homie got them signed and I wanted to tell that dude I had them. And I was so excited that he was around. Let like, me go downstairs and get these shoes out of my apartment. And fucking, when I got back upstairs, the homegirl had fucking like crumbled the weed like the joint up like this. I'm like, what's up? She's like, fucking shit. Fucking came over and told me to put the weed up. I'm like, no, fucking no way Shaq didn't do that. So I like did a whole other one and I was like, dude, Shaq like listens to rap. I'm sure Shaq kinda knows me. I'm gonna like the weed, fucking smoke weed. Shaq comes over and he's like, I'm gonna find me out here. What's good, y'all? It's Coffee back again, man. And y'all hear that? That's Currency, man. Hit the comments if you've luck with Currency. I feel like I haven't heard like new Currency music in a grip, but I guess like he's independent now, right? I don't know. But anyways, besides the point. Um, Fleck, or, uh, Shaq flexed his cop muscles on currency. You heard that over some bud. You see the caption he threw up. Kazam! Yo, and he killed the Shaq voice as well on his impression. He killed that. But he says, uh, mind you, this ages ago, I'm sure dude has relaxed his views on cannabis consum consumption by now. Smoke some, broad less. So, peep it. You heard him say, yo, Shaq listens to rap like he's of the culture, more or less. You know what I'm saying? I'm paraphrasing, but pretty much that's kind of what he was saying. Like, we know uh, Bud and hip-hop kind of goes hand in hand, but Bud and just civilization seems to, period, nowadays. You know what I mean? I always put it out there, y'all. I'm not a, a weed smoker. I wish it could do for me what it seems to do for everyone else. That's a whole nother convo as well. We talked about it a little bit in my live last night. So make sure if you're new, you sub, sub to the channel. Get in the comments with your thoughts on all these topics we're covering. But make sure to get up in them lives as well. We had a, a dope convo last night, man. Once again, shout out Lon Lon, the Don, J, Millie, um, Sensei, Thomas, everyone. I don't want to apologize if I didn't say your name. I just don't want to get too off track like I do. Coffee tends to ramble on, you heard? But, um... You know, uh, Shaq not was just like of the culture. Shaq was a rapper. Y'all remember Shaq Diesel? Um, yo, that one track he put out with Peter Guns, Twism for Life, was a banger. And whatever happened to Twism clothing, all we see is them Shaq shoes in Walmart nowadays, which I guess he makes crazy bread off those. But um, I don't know, man. What do you guys think about this? I mean, I get it. Shaq was with his family. It was what it was, but like he's he's flat out said, yo, we pulled the badge out on him and flexed on him, like yo, man, like <laughs> don't make me have to uh, file a report on your ass or something. And currency was like, yo, I'm I'm good, B, I'm good, but um, I didn't know like Shaq was an official cop neither. I know he had been deputized and he was out here trying to catch weirdos, the wicked, and lock them up, and that's dope, man. Fuck all them weirdos, all them demons. The Wicked. Y'all know how we feel about them on this channel. There's a special place in hell. Lock them all up. But I didn't know, like, he was a cop cop. I thought that just was, like, some part-time-ish or something. I don't know. But apparently, yo, he's flexing that badge on motherfuckers out here. Um, It's wild, too, because Shaq, at one point in time in his life, had close ties to, I believe, reportedly, the Main Street Crips. So he went from hanging with the Crips deflexing badges on fools so get in the comments let me know what y'all think in other news you know we got to have some other topics for you one of my favorite nfl players man switched his position we're talking about stefan diggs the best receiver in the nfl i don't care what you say you heard what's up bills mafia it seems stefan diggs has switched positions from running back or i'm sorry from wide receiver to running back because he was running back and forth allegedly reportedly on valentine's day as you see the news that's hitting uh you know media outlets stefan diggs allegedly had two women at the same hotel in two different rooms on valentine's day exhausting he was running back and forth between the two rooms all night that's wild man yo 
that stamina, man. That's where all that cardio comes into play, right? You heard? <laughs> uh, for real, though, he switched, he switched from receiver to running back. Ain't this ish crazy, man? Yo, I seen someone comment, comment on this and say, yo, man, he was flucking up. He was supposed to have him in the same room at the same damn time. Future voice, man. What do you guys think about this? Uh, yo, Diggs, say, I mean, off season's just uh, starting. So I was going to say save your energy. But nah, man, who am I to hate on uh, what Diggs is doing out there? More power to you. I don't believe he's uh, married, right? So get it in, Stefan Diggs. Do your thing. And next year, we're going to get that ring. Then moving along, the last topic we're covering here, a debate we hear all the time, right? White people saying the N-word. Okay, so Royce the 5'9", one of the dopest MCs lyrically in the game. You know what I'm saying? Um he put this uh, post up, and you see it's pertaining to, get in the comments if you watch this movie, Robert De Niro in Bad Grandpa, right? Crazy movie, funny movie, okay? Hilarious. But in one part, he's doing karaoke, and he's performing the timeless classic Ice Cube, It Was a Good Day. And when the one part came up, you see it across the screen, freaking every way like mj he was like yo should i say it do i say it don't say it don't say it. he said it so uh royce the five nine says dear white people i am not okay with you guys using the n-word but if you must use it please make sure that you are robert de niro spitting bars so what do y'all think is he giving a pass for white people if they're reciting bars to say the n-word because remember what happened with kendrick right at the concert that white girl, uh, I believe she was on stage and she was singing along. She said the N-word and Kendrick slowed it down and said, no, 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 no. Don't you ever, 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 ever say that. You know what I mean? Um, and then get in the comments, guys, too. If you watch the Bel Air reboot, I got a video dropping. Hopefully soon I should have it up. And you know what I'm saying? That's what Will Snuff Carlton or he didn't snuff Carlton over that, but that's where their static first started. That Carlton was vibing out in the lacrosse locker room. You know what I'm saying? Getting it in to Bobby Schmurda hot. And uh, there was a white dude saying the N-word. And Carlton was vibing out with him. And Will said, yo, man, you's a cold sucker for that. So is Royce giving a pass for people as long as they're reciting bars? Or is he like almost being sarcastic here and saying... The only way you can do it is if you're De Niro um, singing some music. Is that what he's saying? So basically, don't ever say it. This is some ish out of movie. Don't ever in your life think this is okay. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think about this as well as all the other topics we covered. Make sure to sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell. Guys, it's Jay Coffee Talk. We drop content every day. We talk music, news, sports, current events, life, and much, much more. Stay tapped in, stay tuned in for them lives. It's a lot of fun. We chop it up, and I'll catch you guys later. And stay tuned for that Bel Air video coming soon as well. So much content on the way. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm gone.